Trello and ClickUp can help you plan and track tasks, projects, and processes, whether you're collaborating with others or if you're just trying to organize your own thoughts and projects. So in this video, I'd like to help you choose which one is right for you. So we're gonna be comparing features, pricing, ease of use, and how customizable each one is. So let's get started with Trello. Trello lets you create boards. So you might have a board called work where all of your work tasks exist. And on each board are these vertical lists. So you might have a to-do list, an in-progress list, and a completed list. And then you add cards to the lists and each card might represent a task that needs to be done. So all of your tasks might start out in the to-do list and then you can drag them around to whatever order you want and you can drag them into different lists all together. So all the tasks you're currently working on might be in the in progress list. Now each card can be clicked on and you can add a description, attachments, due dates, custom labels, and checklists, which are kind of like subtasks to the card. And they can even be converted to cards later on if you decide a checklist item deserves to be on its own card. Now, if you're working on a team, cards can be assigned to members and you can even have multiple people assigned to a card. And then in the activity section, you can record conversations and updates about the task. Now, the great thing about the format of a board with lists and cards is that it's extremely flexible. Since you can have many different boards, you're free to set up each one however you like. So maybe instead of a board filled with tasks, you might have one for standard operating procedures, one for customer lead management, one as a meeting tracker, a vision board, a goal tracking, etc. So you can set it up however you'd like, and it's really easy to pivot and make changes down the road as you refine your process. All right, now let's check out ClickUp. Now ClickUp has what they call lists, which are kind of like Trello boards, but they have so many other ways to view them in addition to just the board format. So you can view tasks in a list and you can group them however you'd like. There's also a Gantt chart, timeline, box view, table, and all sorts of different view configurations. And the cool thing is you don't have to enable the features you don't want to use. So if you really like just the board view and the calendar view, you can have just those two as the only views enabled. That way your interface doesn't get overwhelming. I personally love the calendar view because you can see what your workload is for the month, week, or day down to the hour. And the best part is you can see all of your unscheduled tasks in a list over to the right hand side. So you can just drag them into the calendar to assign start and due dates. Now Trello also has a calendar feature um, that you have to enable using the calendar power up. Now power ups are kind of like little extensions for Trello that add functionality. Some power ups are made by the Trello team while others are made by third party developers to give you different integrations with other apps and services. Now one thing to know, the free Trello account will only allow you to have one power up active per board, which just kind of sucks. ClickUp also has additional integrations and apps called Click Apps, but most of the advanced functionality is already built into ClickUp. So you don't have to go installing a ton of apps to get the functionality you want. And honestly, the Trello calendar isn't anywhere near as sophisticated as the ClickUp calendar because you only get a week view or a month view. So you don't have like a daily view where you can organize tasks down to the hour. And there's no way to see all of your unassigned tasks while viewing the calendar. So instead of easily dragging tasks onto due dates like you can in ClickUp, you're forced to assign due dates to cards on the board one by one, and then go back to the calendar view um, to, to view them all together and to rearrange them. Now, the other thing I really like about ClickUp is it lets you import and synchronize outside calendars. So you can bring your schedule 
right into ClickUp to make sure that your tasks don't conflict or, or overlap with anything else you have going on. And you can quickly toggle the visibility of external calendars with a simple click. So it just makes it really easy to make sure your view is not getting overwhelmed by cards while also being able to see the big picture when you want to. Now, one of the biggest differences between Trello and ClickUp is how the hierarchy is defined. So at the top level, Trello has what's called a workspace and ClickUp has what's called spaces. Now above that, ClickUp does have the workspace feature, but it doesn't really compare with a Trello workspace. It's kind of a higher level uh, organizational structure uh, to save kind of global settings and features that you want to operate in your entire ClickUp workspace. Next, you have Trello boards, which is the equivalent of ClickUp lists. So lists exist under a space and boards are grouped together inside a Trello workspace. So you can have multiple workspaces, multiple spaces, and then multiple boards all nested under the workspace and multiple lists nested under the space. Now, one unique thing about ClickUp is you also have the option, if you want, you don't have to do this, you have the option to group lists together into folders. So it's just an additional level of organization that's available to you that's optional if you wanna use it. Next in Trello, we have lists. So there's multiple lists in each board and the equivalent to that in ClickUp is the status. Statuses can be unique to each list or they, the statuses can be inherited by the space and you can have default statuses set up for your entire workspace. Whereas in Trello, lists are always going to be unique to each individual board. So there's really no relationship between the set of lists in one board and the set of lists from another board. And then finally, we have Trello cards. These are the very bottom level organization that's available in Trello. Now, yes, you do have the ability to create checklists and you can convert checklist items to cards down the road if you want, but the checklists are not the same thing as a card. Um, they're just kind of a single line item to give you like a little quick to-do list within a card itself. ClickUp, on the other hand, has what's called tasks with an additional ability to create subtasks and nested subtasks underneath. So this really widens up the entire hierarchy and allows you to customize it however you like. And the other thing that's really unique about ClickUp is the flexibility in how visible all of your tasks are throughout the entire workspace. So in ClickUp, you have the ability to view all tasks throughout the entire workspace all together. Whereas in Trello, you can only view tasks or cards one board at a time. So the boards are kind of separated from each other and there's really no other way to view them. The other thing is tasks are sorted or grouped by status at first by default, but that's not the only way for you to view tasks. You can also view them by date, by assignee, by priority, by tags, or any other custom field. So you have the ability to create complete custom fields, which is really cool because when you're viewing all of your tasks in the list view, you'll actually see all of your custom fields as a column. So instead of having to open up all your cards to view the different custom fields, you can kind of view them all in one place. So ClickUp just offers you so many different ways to view all of the different tasks that you have in your workspace. Whereas Trello is very rigid in that you have to view cards by list. There's no other way to group cards. You can't sort cards across lists by due date or by assignee or anything like that. You can filter them, but you can't group them. 
uh, by anything other than the list that they reside on. So I think that's just an important distinction to make between Trello and ClickUp. ClickUp has a much larger hierarchy in how you can organize your different tasks, and it also gives you a much wider range of grouping and just different ways to view your tasks. Now, it is worth noting that Trello does offer different views if you upgrade to the business plan. So they offer timeline, table, a different calendar, dashboard, and map, very similar to ClickUp. So it seems like they're trying to play catch up. This is a new feature, but the thing is, is you can get all of this for free in the free ClickUp uh, plan. So I feel like if these types of views are important to you, you might as well just try ClickUp anyway, because you're already gonna get those in the free plan. So overall, ClickUp is much more powerful and customizable than Trello, but a lot of people might find that confusing. Now, personally, I value being able to customize things exactly the way I want them, and I do appreciate having advanced features that ClickUp provides. But as far as being user-friendly, Trello definitely wins. Uh, it's just a much more simple layout and it's easier to learn and use. Now they both have mobile apps. They both offer automation. So there's, there's plenty of similarities, but you basically have to ask yourself, do you want something that's a jack of all trades, that's super powerful and customizable, or do you not really care about advanced features and you just want something basic that's easier to use? Now, as far as pricing goes, they both offer a forever free plan with certain limitations, but you definitely get a lot more from the ClickUp free plan than you do with the Trello free plan. And like I said, if you feel like you'd be overwhelmed with all the features in ClickUp, you don't have to enable them. You can literally just have one board view enabled and be all set. And if you ever wanna try out additional features in the future, you can enable them at any time. So if you wanna check out Trello or ClickUp, I have affiliate links in the description below. And that's all I have for you in this video. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe for more online business reviews. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.